What up y'all? I'm gonna be showing you how to play Seven Nights Rebirth on your Mac. I'm gonna be using Play Cover, which will let us run the iOS version of the game. Now you will need an Apple Silicon Mac, meaning any Mac with the M series chip in it. If you have an Intel Mac, best thing you could probably do is Google or YouTube how to use Boot Camp and then just install a native Windows Android emulator like Bluestacks or something. Anyways, with that being said, let's get into it. First thing we're going to want to do is go to playcover.io. Before you hit download in the upper right hand corner, as Mac gamers, we already have to deal with workarounds and third party apps just to play games like everyone else. So I wanted to put you onto a tool that's free to use forever and makes the whole experience safer, Proton VPN. It's based in Switzerland with strict privacy laws, complete ad free and even their free plan has no speed or data caps but the real value is in VPN plus with full access to thousands of servers streaming unlocks and secure core security you can try it with my link in the description and support the channel at the same time now go to the upper right hand corner and click download click latest and hit allow then we're gonna go to our downloads folder and double click the DMG Drag play cover to our applications, and then in our applications, find and double click play cover. Hit open. Now we need to go get the IPA file for the game. Gonna use decrypt.day. Again, I'll leave everything in the description. In the search bar, type in the game. Click this one by Netmarble. On the right side, click download for free. Now, if you see this message that's saying you're using an ad blocker, but you know you're not, check the link in the description. It's a video on basically how to bypass this. If the method in the video doesn't work for you, then check the pinned comment. There is a different method in there. But if it shows you the blue download link, then click it, click get download link, download, and it might just start downloading. You might have to click allow. It might open a new tab and you might have to go back to the old tab and hit allow. Just kind of depends on what mood it's in. Once it's downloaded, click and drag the IPA file into play cover. It's gonna extract. And once it's finished, you should see the game here. Now, a couple things whenever you need to update the game, not exactly sure how it's going to work for this game in particular, but typically with the big gotchas like Genshin, Zenless, Star Rail, Weathering Waves, you have to go back to decrypt.day. And when that new version, say 1.1, 1.2, 2.0 comes out, depends on the game, but after a little bit, decrypt.day will have the decrypted file. It'll say here the version, download that new version, and then click and drag that new IPA file into play cover and that will basically allow you to update the game. Also if you ever want to delete the game, also if you ever want to delete the game, check the video linked in the description because it's not as simple as right clicking and hitting uninstall. The actual game data's file is hidden in a folder on your computer. Anyways with all that being said, now all we got to do is double click the game. Hit login going to make you sign in with one. Typically with play cover, Apple sign in doesn't work. So I'm going to sign in as a guest. It's going to make you agree and confirm. It's going to download data and I will be back when that's finished. All right. Once it's done downloading, hit view. It's going to run you through the cutscene tutorial. And after that, you'll be pretty much off and playing and subscribe for more Mac gaming news and tutorials. That's about it. See you.